Shanghai has fallen to Japan. Before the final terrific onslaught of Japan's mechanized army, China is forced to withdraw beyond the Suchow Creek, and Japan's army commander controls all the native sections of the world's sixth largest city. These pictures show the final street-to-street -street and hand-to-hand -hand battle, the house-to-house -house advance behind a smoke screen, with tanks snorting ahead through the narrow street. Wounded carried away under a withering hail of machine gun bullets, bombs falling from the air like raindrops in an April shower. Chinese troops battle their way into Changte, gateway to the rich rice lands in western Hunan province. Six weeks before, eight Japanese divisions had taken the city. Four times in 40 days, Changte changed hands. Now, cracked, well-armed Chinese forces sweep back. This time, the enemy is in retreat. Yesterday, December 7th, 
1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Everybody asks you what the Americans are doing in this war. Tell them you've seen this bit of U.S. Navy task force in the southwest Pacific. A Japanese fleet somewhere over the horizon. Japanese torpedo and dive bombers coming in now to attack this aircraft carrier. Bombs and machine gun bullets are coming at the ship in bucket loads. But you'll see how the cameraman keeps on his feet and keeps turning. Eyes alive with enemy planes and American bullets and shells, and here's where they meet. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. be no peace in the world until the military power of Japan is destroyed. With the same completeness as was the power of the European dictators. To do that, we are now engaged in the process of deploying millions of our armed forces against Japan in a mass movement of troops and supplies and weapons over 14,000 miles. A military and naval feat unequaled in all history. Substantial portions of Japan's key industrial centers have been leveled to the ground in a series of record incendiary raids. 